Okay, we continue on the section 15.4. So last time we consider the equation for the associate legenda polynomial and we show that the, it can be written of this form if we substitute this into this equation we show that uh, this indeed satisfies the associate legenda equation so this is of the correct form however but for this definition because we're taking derivatives the derivative has to be zero or positive, so m is zero for positive. Uh, we want to extend the formula for negative m. Okay, so uh, to do that, we'll use the uh, Rodriguez formula for the Legendre polynomial PL. So we know that PL by the Rodriguez formula is uh, there's some constant in front is just by convention is 2 to the power L L factorial and then taking the L derivative of uh, the power of uh, x squared minus 1 uh, okay so it's uh, of uh, So x squared minus 1 power to the L power. Okay, so this is the Rodriguez formula. Okay, and then uh, if we combine this uh, into the, this definition, because this is all derivatives, so we can write uh, P sub L M the script P is equals to minus one to the M power two to the power L L factorial. Now the total derivative is L plus M operate on x squared minus one to the L power. And remember there's a constraint, L is greater than or equals to M. Okay, so uh, so you see that uh, if L M is the great greatest M is L, so this x to the two L, so you take the if M is equals to L, you take two L derivative, you get a, basically uh, you still get a, a constant out of this uh, x to the 2 L power okay so that's the uh, the, the situation L equals to M okay but uh, we can also extend this formula for negative M because now uh, if M is less than L so M take a negative power but it's not as negative as um, as uh, as minus L, so L plus M, if L plus M is uh, greater or equal to zero, then that's still, pro still, uh, still possible. So you can uh, extend that to negative value of M, okay? And however, we extend this, we cannot use the there is in last term because the there is in last term we're using taking derivative m derivative and the derivative is positive so we need to check that uh, this formula if we assume this formula and um, with negative m then it's still uh, it's still satisfy this equation and to do that uh, we actually uh, will use we we'll use the same way that uh, we we it before for checking the Rodriguez formula for the Legendre polynomial. So, what we'll do is uh, like we we'll, uh, define a function like uh, y is equals to now explicitly writing a negative m here. So, 
define x d d x to the l minus m power and operate on 1 minus x squared to the l power and we're writing 1 minus x squared, that doesn't matter, this is x squared minus 1 uh, because uh, this is linear equations so or the coefficient doesn't, uh, doesn't matter so we try to see if this satisfy uh, this, uh, this equation okay so basically if we, uh, we can start by taking the second derivative of this one and substitute into this term okay so that's what we'll do okay so let's try it what is uh, okay so 1 minus minus x squared and taking second derivative of y will be um, dx over l minus m plus 2 times this factor 1 minus x squared to the l power so we substitute the y into here take a second derivative up in here okay so now we will we will do the same trick by pulling out uh, all this factor in front okay so we will pull the, the actually we will pull all power except one power so we will pull the, this is uh, d dx this l minus m plus one power, okay, and operate on one minus x square, and then uh, d d x on one minus x square to the l power, okay, and. So this is the Nimnitz formula. So I will this I'll operate that the first term in the Leibniz formula will give you this one because this is a zero derivative of this factor and L minus M plus one. I should say this is this is just uh, yeah, L. This is just L, yeah. This is L. Okay, so L minus M plus one and then plus another derivative, so we have L minus M plus 2 over this one so that's the first term in the Leibniz formula but uh, we need to subtract two more terms subtract the first derivative of this one and this and L minus M derivative of this one and then uh, subtract the second derivative of this one and the L minus M minus 1 derivative of this term okay so now we this equals to that minus now the uh, the first derivative of this one is give you will give you minus 2x so minus minus will be plus 2x okay and then times the coefficient so the coefficient would be L minus M plus 1 so L minus M plus 1 okay and then L minus M derivative of this one but they are extra derivative so L dx over L minus M plus 1 operate on this factor okay and then uh, minus the second derivative of this one so the first derivative is minus 2x the second derivative is just uh, minus 2 but you subtract that so it plus 2 plus 2 but the the coefficient is l minus m plus 1 times l minus m so it's divided by 2 so you cancel 2 L minus M plus 1 
times L minus M. Okay. And then multiply by the L minus M minus one derivative of this one. So it says D D X L minus M one, one minus X square to the L power. Okay, so this this is this term. Okay, and now we can, you know, first we can simplify this, this one first. Uh, this two, this two we can simplify by using the definition of the function y to simplify the writing on this two. But the first term we can also simplify by taking out the derivative explicitly. So d dx on this factor, so this equals to d d x l minus m plus 1. So let's write like, uh, so taking the derivative of this will give you l times 1 minus x squared to, uh, to the power l minus 1. This power. You multiply by this factor, you get back 1 minus x squared l. And then uh, the derivative is minus 2x of this factor, so you have uh, minus 2x, 1 minus x squared to the power L. Okay. Uh, that's an L factor, so 2L minus 2L. Minus two my L times one minus x squared L minus L minus power multiplied by this you get minus two L x one minus x squared to the L power. Okay, so that's this one. Now this two term we simplify that by just writing it like uh, this is plus two x L minus M plus one and this one using this notation so this the whole thing is y, so this is y, and one more derivative, so we call it y prime. Okay, and then this one is exactly this one, so it's plus l minus m plus one l minus m times y. Okay, so now we need to work on the first factor. So again we use the Leibniz formula. So this equals, to, the first one is just keeping this the first factor and take the, the L minus M plus 1 derivative on this one. So an L minus M derivative on, on this one is just y prime. Okay, so using this again, and the next one is the first first derivative of this one. So the first derivative of this one is minus two l, and multiplied by the factor. So minus two l times l minus m plus one, and then taking the l minus m derivative of this fact this factor, which will give give us y. Okay, so this is. The Leibniz formula on this one will give you this two. So now we the rest is plus two x l my l minus m plus one y prime plus l minus m plus one l minus m y. Okay. Now we need to group the terms. This term can group with this, this term group with that. Okay, and see what we get. So both of these two terms has the 2x factor. So 2x, okay, you have minus 2lx, okay, and then you have plus 2x times l. So this l factor can cancel it with this one. So this cancel this l term in here. Okay, so now, so what we, 
we'll get uh, is uh, uh, minus m plus 1, okay, equals to uh, 2x times minus m plus 1. Okay, uh, then uh, combining this these two terms, so both have a factor L minus M plus 1. Okay, so you can pull that out, so plus L minus M plus 1. So the first one has a minus 2L. And then you plus L minus M plus uh, plus L minus M, so L minus two L plus L becomes minus L. Right. So, so first you write write this down first. L minus M plus one here. Yeah, so you minus two L first. Yeah, for this factor. And for this factor, you plus L, so plus L minus M times Y. Okay, so let's simplify it one more time. So this is 2x minus M plus 1Y prime plus. Now you can multiply everything, so this is um, minus um, minus L, okay, so you have minus L and times this one, so you have minus L times L plus 1, okay, and so minus L times minus M is just my, uh, plus LM, but then you have L times M minus L times M, so cancel of the L times M terms, okay, so the the rest is uh, just uh, just the m terms, okay? So you have m you have plus m square, m times m, and then you have this uh, minus m. That's why. Okay. So now. This one uh, is equals to so this this one so originally this one and this one is basically one minus x square y double pi so this is uh, one minus x square y double pi okay now you compare this with with this one so. Now, if you move this to the other side, this is exactly this one with m changed to minus m. And this one, if you move to the other side, so minus l times l plus 1 becomes l times l plus 1. So m squared becomes negative m squared. And minus m becomes positive m, which is the change m to minus m. So we check that uh, this indeed satisfy this equation with m equals at minus m because we're changing the m to minus m. Okay, so we can choose a negative m in this equation and given by the solution is given by this one. And this one is well defined because you are taking l minus m derivative, or those uh, m is compared with this one, uh, you are taking a less derivative of this one. But then uh, the total derivative s minus m is still positive because l is greater or equals to m. So finally, we check that uh, this uh, this equation, the definition of um, the associate legend function, or combined with the Rodriguez formula given by this one, is, can be applied for both positive m and negative m, and still satisfy the associated legendary function, legendary equation.